Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to the Execute Automation Reporting System and Execute Automation Test Harness System video course. And in this video, we'll be talking about you own become a master in PowerShell within 10 minutes. Well, this is a crash course in the middle of our course so that you can get a little information on what PowerShell is all about. So for that, I'm going to first flip to PowerShell. If you have Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 installed in your machine, then you should have PowerShell by default in your operating system. So as you can see here in my machine, I have PowerShell available as in the operating system. As you can see, there is a PowerShell and there is PowerShell IDE. And we'll talk about PowerShell IDE later, but this is the PowerShell. So if you open this particular PowerShell, you can see the blue window as opposed to the black window for the command prompt. I hope you might not have missed this option available in your operating system once you install it. Come here, it's pretty much same, whatever command you do in your command prompt can also be applicable with your PowerShell, like CLS for clearing the screen, DIR for listing the directories, and you can also use LS to list the directories. And let's say if I want to go within the inet pub folder, then I can just do inet pub, and hit enter you can see I can navigate to that particular folder and then I can do ls to show all the directories available within that particular folder which is great so I'm gonna again do cls for clearing the screen so these are the normal basic commands that we do in our command prompt but let's see what is the beautiful thing available in PowerShell there are so many so many modules and methods available within PowerShell they call it as noun and verb I really don't have to go a lot deep into that but for me, I guess the lot of information that you can do is using the help command. If you just do help and if you just hit enter, you can see this is the help system available in the PowerShell. And you can do a lot more help system like help of ls. If you hit enter, it will show you like uh, ls is actually the list directory, but there is a name for this particular ls which is nothing but the get child item and the ls is actually an alias you can see you can call this ls using gci ls or dir you can use any one of the name to perform the same operation for example ls right i can do gci or i can do dir so these are the alias for a same command which is nothing but your get child item so you can also use get child item to perform the same operation right so this is very cool about uh, PowerShell you can give an alias for the same functionality for example if I have uh, my operating system running then surely I should have some process running in my machine so if I want to see all the process running in my machine I can just use a command called get process and hit enter Ooh so fast right it is showing me all the process running in my machine for instance if I want to see all my services running in my machine then I can just do get service Ooh, so fast again it will show me all the services running in my machine and let's do a little uh, basic stuff let's say if I want to print something in my screen then I can just write host something like this and then I say hello guys hit enter you can see hello guys will be printed super cool right and let's say if I want to print the date of my particular machine then if I hit date you can see Thursday July 7 2016 6 57 p.m. 40 cool get the help of this particular date again I can do the same thing using help of date if suppose the date help is not available in your machine it will take some time and it will actually retrieve the information right from the directory and it will also show that information available for you but it is saying that there seems to be like kind of ambiguity between the date because you have not specified the exact date like get date or set date but you have just given date so right now your powershell is kind of confused and he's asking you that there are so many commandlets and functions available with the same date within it so which one you want so you want to tell exactly which help you are looking for. Let's say I want uh, get help, get date help. So I can just give get date and now it will show you the exact date help, right? Let's do a little advanced operation here. So we ran something called as get process and we hit enter. We see all the process available in our machine. Let's say I want to print all the Chrome instance running in my machine. So how do I do that? 
right so if i want to do something like this then surely there should be some kind of conditional operation that you need to do so for doing that there is something called a pipe commands you can see this pipe symbol near the slash of your keyboard the same it is the pipe and there is a where command or where object and within this where object you can open it's more like your sql server right where and you have to perform a where operation for this particular get process so in order to get the object of your left hand side operation there is something called dollar underscore if you use dollar underscore and hit dot and just hit tab you can see it brings you all the different options available within your get process and the one which you are looking for is actually the process name right if you just keep on going there we go page to system path mm, all right where is my process name there we go so this is the process name which i'm looking for where i want to see how many chrome instances are currently opened so in order for doing equals because i have to give the the chrome name right i cannot just use double quotes because this operator is not available in powershell rather there is something called as eq and i can just give chrome there we go if I hit this, you can see that the all the Chrome process running in my machine will be showed something like this with great filtering options, right? So this is the another way that you can query a process something like this. And let's say for the get service that we executed, something like this, there are so many stopped service and running service. So if I want to print only the running services in my machine, then I can just do get service where we can just use where as well where so what is the name of this i guess it is status right yep where status equal running I hit enter so all the running services will be displayed with using this particular command let's say if i want to uh, kill a process Let's say I have a uh, a process, get process, and let's say I want to kill some of the uh, one of the unused process. Let's say if I want to kill the ID a ID man, just nothing but the Internet Download Manager. I don't really want this guy this time. So if I want to kill this, there is something called as stop process. And then I can give the name of the stop process using this hyphen name and then you can just give ID man and you can see that the ID man or the ID manager is currently running the internet download manager if I just hit enter and now if I go right here boom the internet download manager is gone and this is how you can stop the process all right so these are some of the cool things that you can do with PowerShell and the final thing which I want to show is the expand string command. Let's say if I want to assign a, va a value to a variable, let's say if I want to store all the uh, process information into my variable and then I want to use that particular process variable after some time, let's say my current process is equal to get process and hit enter and now if I just do dollar my current and hit tab you can see my current process will be fully displayed and now if i hit enter so all the process informations are stored in the my current process this is how we can use the variable within powershell and let's say if i want to expand a string there is a super cool option available in powershell as well for example uh, there is something called uh, dollar name is equal to karthik Right? And now if I just do dollar name, you know that the Karthik will be displayed. But let's say if I want to print the print the name, my name is Karthik with using the dollar name, you can just use single quotes, my name is dollar name. If you just do that, there is a difference in PowerShell for single quote and double quotes. So single quote will treat the string directly without evaluating the uh, variable whereas the double quotes will expand the variable and gets the value out from it 
you'll understand what I mean. If I'm giving single quote, my name is dollar name, and if I hit enter, you can see that my name is dollar name will be displayed. But what if I want to show my name is Karthik this time? So I can just remove the single quotes to double quotes, and you can see that the color has changed a little bit, dollar name, which means it is treating the dollar name or the variable as a variable, not as a string. And if I hit enter, it shows my name is Karthik. So this is how you can do using PowerShell. A lot of other options are available to understand how PowerShell works, but this is just a crash course of how PowerShell is super coolly designed within our Windows operating system. And there are so many things that you can learn with PowerShell. You can do anything in PowerShell with your Windows operating system. That's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.